here's your special, hun. But I wouldn't drink too much coffee today if I was you. Eugene lost the key to the restroom. Yeah, uh, that's okay, Vera. Uh, I never use public restrooms. Mm. What does he uh, use? Uh, oh, God. Mm, Let's go. Back. This candy dispenser isn't working right. I think a piece must have fallen out. Check it out, Odie. A Studley McQuark Puzz Dispenser. No way! Way? It's an official limited edition collector's item. Wow! I've never seen one like this before. It looks just like Studley, only smaller. Well, give me some grasshoppers, and it's yours. Okay, Wilbur, it's a trade. They're in the icebox outside Vera's. Go help yourself. What's Ollie doing in there? Can't I just take some from your bait box? I can't give you these grasshoppers. I'm using them. Why are they in an icebox? Duh. To keep them frozen. I thought you said your bait was fresh. They are fresh, Wilbur. They'll start hopping around like crazy once you thaw them out. Well, how do you thaw them out? Well, I use my mom's microwave. Well, when she's not looking. Well, why do you keep them frozen? Grasshoppers are hard to come by most of the year. Except every spring there's tons of them down at the marsh. I catch a year's supply in the spring and keep them on ice so I have fresh bait all year round. Why do you keep them at Vera's? Cause my mom says I can't keep them in her freezer. Thanks, kid. Hey, no prob. And if you ever need any frisky termites, I can make you a heck of a deal. I'm not exactly sure why we couldn't just take them out before. Nice. Ooh, there's something green inside the ice. I believe we have done everything that we need to do to complete test one. Incredible! <laughs> His neurosynaptic bandwidth is right off the scale for a gamma class life form. Whoa! What a trip! What, what happened? What happened? What happened? You passed my test! That's what happened! Cool. How those puny neurons conducted that pulse, I'll never know! There must be a malfunction in the system! The results are accurate, boss. He passed fair and square. Fair and square? Fair and square? Don't ever use those words around me again! Now throw them in the break while I prepare the next test! Square. I'll be back for you in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Shh, keep it down. I'm on your side. Uh, exactly what side would that be? The side that's trying to prevent creatures like you from being ground up into burger meat. Oh, well, that definitely sounds like the side that I'm on. Who are you? My name is Astral. I'm a member of the Planet Huggers. What are Planet Huggers? 
It's an organization dedicated to the preservation of intelligent life throughout the galaxy. We oppose Orionburger's barbaric process of planetary destruction. We meet on the first Thursday of every month. What do you mean exactly by planetary destruction? I mean total bio-extermination. Oh, if you feel one of their intelligence tests, you'll see for yourself how awful it is. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that I've seen the protein harvesters perform their ghastly work. Orionburger wiped out my home planet several years ago, and as far as I know, I'm the only survivor. That's terrible! And now they're planning to do the same thing to my planet. Just when I thought my life couldn't get any worse, now I'm not even at the top of the food chain anymore. What are you doing in the ventilation duct? Well, aside from getting my jumpsuit completely filthy, I'm spying on Zlark. I'm trying to collect evidence that intelligent life forms are being illegally harvested. So you're sneaking around through this ship, and those green guys don't even know that you're in here? You got that right. I'm a stowaway. Oh, if Zlark found out I was here, I'd be history. Whatever you do, don't let him know that I'm here. Why the IQ tests? Why don't they just eat me? They have to test you because they aren't supposed to harvest intelligent life forms. Intelligent life is a very scarce resource in the universe. Yeah, I've noticed. What was that thing you were waving in my face? I was just scanning your DNA for our records. I didn't mean for you to catch me. You weren't moving, so I figured that you had passed out or that you were dead. Dead? Come on, look around out there. Not many survived their neuroanalysis test. Hmm, I see what you mean. We've survived it several times now. What are my chances for passing these tests? Hmm, I wouldn't count on it. You don't look all that bright to me. Hey. I'll have you know that if they can stand the screaming, I can stand the pain. The tests aren't supposed to hurt. Those bozos were just zapping my head with electricity. It didn't exactly tickle. Uh-oh, I think I hear someone coming. Quickly, get away from the vent. And remember, you never saw me. <sighs> the, the nerve of that earthling passing one of my tests. Well, he won't feel like such a big man after he steps under my shrink the... You're a lot heavier than you look, human. <laughs> Easy, you idiot. We might be eating them later. Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, didn't mean to bruise our dinner. All right, human. You squeaked by the first test. But that was the easy part. Now we start testing your higher mental functions, beginning with your survival instincts. Um, what's my gerbil cage doing here? You're about to find out. Flemix, activate the shrink the. to adapt, survive, and flourish. This is where we test the survive part of that definition. To pass, all you have to do is find your way out of the cage. Got that? Well, sounds easy enough. You <laughs> will see about that. Flummox, issue him a weapon. Weapon? Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. What do I need a weapon for? So many questions. For such a little man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. 
getting out of here will be a piece of cake. There's a door on the bottom level. Uh, what is making that snoring noise? Wow, my very own space blaster. Sounds like my gerbils are snoozing in there. Oh, yes. Whoa! Aha, there's the door. <laughs> I'll be out of here in no time. There's also a magnet here. I wonder. Budge! Well, maybe I'm not so smart after all. Gerbil chow. Best gerbil food money can buy. Keeps their coats nice and shiny. That's too big to lug around. Well, at least I won't starve in here. I mean, just one of these peanuts could last me a month. All right, the door's opening. <laughs> and those space creeps thought I wouldn't get out of here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. I guess this is going to be tougher than I thought. There's got to be a way to keep that door open. You could have just jumped and ran. dangerous walking around in here with kibble on the floor. Hmm. <laughs> it's dangerous walking around in here with kibble on the floor. Damn it, Wilbur. slightly confused why we went down two floors and we only go back at one floor. I guess it's time to poke the gerbil. Nah. Charlie, Louie, Winona, wake up, it's me, Wilbur. They're not my gerbils. Oh dear. <laughs> what the hell? Um... What the hell are they? I got through the neuro test. I'll go grab some of that crazy hair wax again so I can concentrate on figuring out how to pass the second test. Whoa! Wow, look at him go! Hey, you flying fur balls! If you want me, come and Yeah. 
Well, so much for those nasty robo rodents. <laughs> no way. This one's still kicking. Oh no. Spoke too soon. Nice. It's still going. <laughs> Carnage. Twisted metal and fur? I don't think so. So getting back here wasn't actually too much trouble. As you saw, he automatically got the hair wax. And as soon as I pressed the transport button, we went straight to this test. Instead of having to go through all that rigmarole. Hmm. Something down there was hot. Whew. I can hardly even budget. I gotta start doing some weight training. The resemblance to Winona is just uncanny. I can't take that, and I don't want to take that. Why not? I already have some kibble. Oh, yes. I'd better not. Whew, I hope this works. The smell in here is killing me. Yes. Yeah, it's worth a try, I suppose. is his last. <laughs> Ow! Wow! Watch it, you bubble-blowing buffoon! Oh, I wish those aliens would treat their guests with a little more courtesy. I wouldn't expect a lot of courtesy from them, especially not from Zlark. Every time you pass one of his tests, you're delaying his harvest. Ha! Huh. I'll bet that you're really starting to try what little patience he has. Poor guy. Uh, by the way, what does he do while I'm working on one of his tests? He eats. He eats all the time. It's no wonder those gluttons need such a huge supply of protein for their restaurants. Well, glutton or not, he's not getting his tentacles on any of my protein. That's the spirit. Uh, I hear someone coming. I'll talk to you later. Ow! Take it easy, will ya? Get in there, you! Specimen prepared for sensory perception testing, boss! Huh? Oh, yeah, well, very good, yeah. Keep an eye on him whilst I finish up over here. Whoa! 
What's going on? Nothing to worry your pea brain little head about. I'm just getting your next test ready. Oh, I'm afraid to ask what I have to do this time. Well, I'll tell you then. All you have to do is find a hidden object using whatever feeble senses you may happen to have. Call it a treasure hunt, if you will. Okay. So, uh, what's the treasure? What's the treasure? <laughs> Why, it's something stupendous. Something magnificent. Something, something indescribable. <laughs> Psst, Flummox, what is the treasure? The, the treasure? I, I, I thought you were getting the treasure. You moron! How can we have a treasure hunt without a treasure? Go, let me think. Treasure, treasure, what can I use for a treasure? Oops! <laughs> Don't just float there, you moron! Get me something else to eat! Yeah! Yuck! What? Oh, here! Have a bite! Uh, oh, golly, no thanks. See, I'm really not very hungry. Good, isn't it? Why, I scour the farthest reaches of the galaxy in search of this delectable treasure and... Uh, treasure? Oh, well, of course! What could be more appropriate? The treasure will be an Orion Burger. What the? Can't you read the sign? It says no trespassing. Say your prayers, hippie boy. You'd think that you humans could cooperate to pass a measly test. You're pathetic. Shoot. Just when I thought I was on a winning streak. I'd better go get the stuff I used to pass the first two tests so that I can focus on the third. I like that. That saves so much time. Now I believe this next test requires some kind of setup. Ready or not, the new bridge is open for business. Wow! Wow! Those diapers are super absorbent! They soaked up half the lake! Come on! What's all the ruckus? Where's my cam? You don't have to... Knock the door off his hinges! A good day to you, man. So what's it going to be? Parking tickets, taxes, property sales, marriage licenses, tourist information, zoning ordinances, survey records, or bagpipe repair? Uh, bagpipe repair, please. I'd like to buy some property, please. Magic! You've come to the right place, man. So, how much do you have to spend? A hundred? Hundred and fifty thousand? What do you have in the twenty dollar range? Twenty dollars? Hardly a king's ransom. What do you expect for that amount? Well, if you don't have anything... Whoa, they'll slow down there. I didn't see that. 
Let me go and see what I have. Hmm. No, no. Uh, too much. Ha! Don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this one's lovely. Oh, but it's a million five. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, here we are. <coughs> Ooh, it's a little dusty. Ooh. Okay, Sonny Jim, I have a small island here. It's not much of a looker, but it only costs, uh, including closing fees and tax, exactly $20. Where do I sign? Right at the X, sir. Congratulations! You now own a piece of Boonsville, <laughs> albeit a, a small one. Thanks for all of your... I wonder, could this be the same plot of land that we need to enter? We got some mail. Not another ginormous phone bill. And a dog whistle? Oh. I wonder how much she paid for it. Aunt Polly's gonna have some explaining to do. Thing to do, thing to do, thing to do, thing to do. What was that?